Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're having a look at the main cast of this 1980s favorite and what they've been up to since their Euler days. What are you interested in? Ben Stein, the economics professor. Bueller, Bueller. Despite having a minimal role in this film, Ben Stein made his mark by uttering a simple surname. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Stein's resume is nothing short of impressive, pre and post Bueller. Stein began his career in politics as a speechwriter for Presidents Gerald Ford and Richard Nixon, but somehow found himself a character actor. In 1930, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the... Anyone? Anyone? Following his memorable turn as the economics teacher in Bueller, he appeared in numerous TV and film productions, most notably in The Wonder Years and The Mask. Looks like 4th or 5th century Scandinavian, possibly a representation of one of the Norse night gods, maybe Loki. From 1997 to 2003, Stein hosted a successful game show, Win Ben Stein's Money. So if you're smart enough, fast enough, and if you've got the guts, you can win Ben Stein's Money. Stein's most recent entertainment credit is voice acting in 2019, but his political columns and publications continue to flow. Anyone? Something D-O-O -O economics. Charlie Sheen, Garth Fulbeck. It's more than likely we don't have to tell you what Charlie Sheen is up to these days. Sheen had a small role in Bueller as Garth Fulbeck, or boy in police station. Drugs. Thank you, no, I'm straight. I meant, are you in here for drugs? This role was minimal, yet just a few months after the box office release of Bueller, Sheen became a star when Platoon premiered. Since then, Sheen has been consistently working in film and television. His most notable recurring television role was that of Charlie Harper in Two and a Half Men, from which she was fired after some incendiary public remarks and salary demands. It's the sweetest breakfast treat. It's, it's maple, 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 maple delicious. <laughs> His struggles with substance use, mental health issues, and high profile divorces were well publicized. Sheen continues to work in film and TV on a regular basis. I get tiger blood, man. Edie McClurg, Grace. Edie McClurg had a small yet memorable role in Bueller as the busy, bustling school secretary. Grace! She already had experience under her belt at the time, having appeared in comedy variety shows, TV movies and shows, and major motion pictures such as 1976's Carrie. McClurg has made her career as a character and voice actor, her acting credits including anything from planes, trains, and automobiles to Van Wilder. May I see your rental agreement? I threw it away. Oh, boy. Oh boy, what? You're Her voice acting credits include Disney's The Little Mermaid and Frozen, as well as Pixar's Cars, to name a few. I think I'd better go see what Louie is up to. <laughs> In 2019, McClurg's family filed for conservatorship of her affairs, stating that she was suffering from dementia. Despite this, McClurg guest voiced on Family Guy in 2020 and starred in the 2022 film Eyes Upon Waking. They all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. Lyman Ward, Tom Bueller. Canadian actor Lyman Ward appeared in the film as patriarch Tom Bueller. Take a hot bath and then uh, wrap a hot towel around your head wrap a hot towel around my head. And then, make yourself some soup. Get a nap, okay? Like some others in this list, Ward made his career as a character actor. He began with an appearance in an episode of Bonanza in 1971, and he has been working steadily since in film and short stints in TV shows. His filmography post Bueller includes The A-Team, Family Ties, Monk, and many more. He appeared in films such as Planes, Trains, and Automobiles and Independence Day in minor roles. I'll see in Chicago, John. You'll never make the six. Ward continues to work to this day, 
with his name attached to a project in post-production as of 2023. Fun fact, Ward married his on-screen Ferris Bueller's Day Off wife, Cindy Pickett, in 1986, but the couple divorced in 1992. Cindy Pickett, Katie Bueller. Bless his little heart. Cindy Pickett was already known for her recurring role on soap opera Guiding Light between 1976 and 1980 when she was cast as matriarch Katie Bueller. Though she did appear in a number of films prior to and following Bueller, her main work was in television. She appeared in the 1980 series St. Elsewhere as Dr. Carol Novino from 1986 to 88. She has multiple TV guest spot credits in such shows as Magnum P.I. and CSI Miami, and has a credited role in the upcoming Star Trek Equinox, The Night of Time. As previously mentioned, she was married to her on-screen Ferris Bueller husband, Lyman Ward, between 1986 and 1992. Fun fact, Cindy Pickett and Lyman Ward also played the parents in the 1992 film, Sleepwalkers. He's utterly charming. Jeffrey Jones, Ed Rooney. Jeffrey Jones already had an established acting career by the time he played Principal Ed Rooney in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So far this semester, he has been absent nine times. Prior to the 80s comedy, Jones most notably starred as Emperor Joseph II in 1984's Amadeus. Subsequent to Bueller, Jones appeared in such films as Beetlejuice, The Hunt for Red October, and Sleepy Hollow, and had a recurring role on the HBO series Deadwood as A.W. Merrick. You ever been beaten, Merrick? Once, when I thought I had the smallpox, Doc Cochran slapped me in the face. The 2019 release of Deadwood the movie brought with it closer scrutiny of its actors, and Jones's criminal past drew attention. In 2002, Jones was arrested on charges of engaging in inappropriate behavior with a minor. He was convicted and had to register as an offender. He hasn't worked since 2019. It's Ed Rooney, Ferris. I'd like to have a word with you. Jennifer Grey, Jeannie Bueller. You're letting him stay home? I can't believe this. If I was bleeding out my eyes, you guys would make me go to school. This is so unfair. Prior to playing snooty sister Jeannie in Bueller, Jennifer Grey notably appeared in the 1984 cult classic Red Dawn. She is best known for playing Baby Houseman in 1987's Dirty Dancing. Nobody puts baby in a corner. No one put her in the corner after this, as she appeared consistently in films, voice acting, TV movies, and guest spots on popular shows. Gray withdrew from acting for a couple of years in the late 1980s, after a fatal car crash caused by then-boyfriend Matthew Broderick. Gray underwent two rhinoplasty surgeries at the age of 29, amidst pressure from the industry and her mother, which rendered her unrecognizable and nearly ended her career. She is still working, with the project slated for release in 2024. Just who I am, I have no question about it, so I feel pretty good in this skin. Mia Sara, Sloane Peterson. Mia Sara had a lead role in Ferris Bueller's Day Off as girlfriend Sloane Peterson. Sloane Peterson, may I have a word with you, dear? She had previously made her film debut as Princess Lily in 1985's Legend, which eventually became a cult classic. Following Bueller, Sarah appeared in a variety of films, TV movies, and guest spots. Her most recognizable credits post Bueller are the 1994 Van Damme film Time Cop and the short lived 2002 series Birds of Prey as Harley Quinn. Very impressive. Sarah retired from the acting game in exchange for the role of mother, with her last credit being a short film in 2013. She was once married to Sean Connery's son, Jason, but the two divorced in 2002. She married Jim Henson's son, Brian, in 2010. I love you. I love you too. He's gonna marry me. Alan Ruck, Cameron Fry. Alan Ruck auditioned for the role of Cameron Fry in Ferris Bueller's Day Off on advice from his friend Matthew Broderick. He'll keep calling me. He'll keep calling me until I come over. He'll make me feel guilty. This is, uh, this is ridiculous, okay? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go. 
It was a great move. His role as Ferris's unfortunate best friend is one of the best performances in the movie. Rock had a few projects under his belt prior to Bueller, but the 80s comedy likely launched his career. Ruck has been busy since 1986. He has appeared in films such as Speed and The Happening, as well as a seemingly endless list of TV appearances, most recently as Connor Roy in Succession, which wrapped up in May of 2023. I think I finally found a job I want to do. Okay, what is it? President of the United States. He married actress Mireille Enos, star of the AMC show The Killing in 2008. He continues to work with no signs of stopping. Here's where Cameron goes berserk. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Matthew Broderick, Ferris Bueller. You're Abe Froman. That's right. I'm Abe Froman. The Sausage King of Chicago. Yeah, that's me. Matthew Broderick began his career on the stage, which he frequently revisits. Pre-Bueller, he appeared in 1983's critically acclaimed film War Games as protagonist David Lightman. His most recognizable role is without a doubt that of snarky, rule, and fourth-wall-breaking teen Ferris Bueller. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? Post-Bueller, Broderick drew attention in 1989's Civil War-era film Glory, as well as voicing Simba in Disney's The Lion King. No one needs me. Yes, we do. You're the king. In 1987, Broderick was involved in a fatal car accident in which he sustained multiple injuries. He was convicted of reckless driving and fined. And it had very serious, uh, traumatic, lasting effects on, I'm sure, Matthew and the family of the other women and me. He has consistently appeared in movie, TV, and voice acting roles until present day, including 2023's Netflix miniseries, Painkiller. Broderick has been married to actor Sarah Jessica Parker since 1997. Since when? Since... Forever? No, that's not true. It feels like it is. Which is your favorite Ferris Bueller moment? Let us know in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.